So this is a a prototype of the uh, of the Mark II, a sort of natural progression, I guess you might say, in the Rockner stable, taking what we've learnt and all the attributes from the original Mark I Rockner and the Vulcan, and married them into a new generation anchor that that we really feel is a is a major step forward. My name is Peter Smith. I'm the designer of the Rockner anchor. I've been in the marine industry all my life uh, as a boat potter. I left New Zealand in 1978 and uh, spent some 30 years offshore sailing, um, both high and low latitudes, and over that period of time built up 200,000 plus miles of sailing experience. Well, the original Rockner was developed, the whole concept was developed when I brought Kiwi Ra from the UK, which is where I built the boat. We, did, um, we took the boat back to New Zealand over a period of three years. So we, we anchored in pretty well every environment that you could anchor a boat in. There's thin coral sand in the Bahamas over top of hard pan coral and mud and weed, all, all the variations that you can think of. But in those days, I was actually anchoring on, mostly on a Delta, a Delta 44. I had two Deltas on board, two CQRs, a Bruce, a Danfoss style, and a very big, large emergency pick, an old Admiralty pack and pick, but, but we just had so much trouble. We dragged anchors, that, we dragged del deltas that were fully set. They were, they were a metre down in the mud in the Chesapeake and we were still dragging. We were still pulling those things through the mud. They just don't have the holding power. They don't have the right sort of shape. They're a plough, they're designed to go through the mud. Same with the CQR. Bruce, I'm not going to go there. Bruce, I've never had a successful anchorage on a Bruce. They hop, skip and jump and as soon as you start developing any reasonable amount of pull, if they, they, um, if they go in and, and, are, and are reasonably secure, pull them past yield and they'll come straight out. They, they don't stay in. They're not what we call roll stable. Rockner's, the shape of the anchor is such that they're roll stable. So anyway, I designed and, and built a, a very agricultural um, version of a, of a Rockner and did a circumnavigation of New Zealand. And that, that anchor worked extremely well. It was, it was most impressive. And I then started getting people had seen it, they knew about it. They started asking me if I'd, I'd produce something similar for them. So I produced a few, and in the process of building those anchors, we refined the design to the point where I felt that it was pretty well ready to go for, for my own anchor. Um, and the rest is really history, actually. Um, you know, Rockner has become probably the premium anchor in the world market today. The writing moment is basically the same all the way around, very similar. Which makes, which means in actual practice that the anchor will always roll into the set position where it is now. Once it's in that position, there's a lot of tip weight on the anchor. So that tip weight, when you start to drag the anchor forward, like so, that, that tip is now digging into the ground and creates a lot of, w w creates a lot of resistance. The resistance with the, with the chain pulling on the shank rolls the anchor up into that position and the anchor will then bury, will, will start to go down in such a way that um, it just keeps bearing, it basically just keeps going down at that angle until such times the resistance is such that it's equal to the force on the chain and of course the, the anchor will stop at that point and the boat won't go any further. So that's the roll bar. We have the skids, which are actually are a critical part of the anchor. Um, they actually do act as a skid. They support the back of the anchor, the heel, when it's sitting in its three-point geometry. When you pull it forward, those skids are at an angle and a shape that actually help push the back of the blade up so that it doesn't, doesn't get buried. The roll bar differentiates Rockner and the concept of the design substantially from the Delta, CQR, those old generation anchors. They are notorious for not going into the set position. There's a variety of many reasons why they won't reliably always go into the position they designed to where they will set. So CQR is a prime example. I like to quote the figures that a CQR on average, you, out of five times it'll set twice. So, so in the process of trying to, to drop an anchor CQR design or a delta, as I said, with the, um, with the CQR type shapes common to have to reset three out of five times, pick the anchor up, go back up, drop it and try again. Um, with the rockner and the roll bar and, and, and the way it works, it's just, it's just foolproof. Um, the, 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 the turning torque on the roll bar 
is very, very strong. And and no matter what you do, no matter how you, what position you drop the anchor on into the into the floor of the ocean, once you start to pull on the shank, the anchor will automatically go into a into a position where it's either it's either in that position or if it's on its back for any reason, the anchor will always roll into the set position. A lot of the powerboat market, in fact, even sailboats nowadays with their prods, they will have a platypus, what I call a platypus um, projection, which is quite often solid with, it, with a roller set into the centre of it. So the anchor comes up through the centre of the roller and with the roll bar, it hits the platypus and it doesn't pull home correctly. Or if you've got a boat that's got prods, modern prods on, on fast sailboats, or boats, old fashioned boats, or the older technology that have got bowsprits. So the roll bar tends to be a bit of an issue with some of these boats. Very difficult initially to come up with the concept of, of non-roll bar anchor, but after, after a couple of years of experimentation and playing around with different designs, we finally, we, we sort of cracked it, you might say, um, with the Vulcan. Well, you can, you can see when, when the anchor is upside down in that position, Again, the, the roll palm is supporting the back of the anchor. There's quite a bit of weight on that, but it's supported by a substantial surface area. And as you can see there, I can't, I can't hold it there. It won't, it won't sit in that position. And that's without any chain on here. You stick a shackle and chain on there, and as you can see, this is moving substantially. The amount of, of movement for a tiny little bit of movement in the anchor is quite substantial. And the weight of the chain and, 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 and a shackle at the end of that shank this is this is just it'll happen every time the anchor will just not sit upside down like that it'll always roll and of course it develops momentum as it rolls less less weight on the end of the shank and of course it rolls over and goes into the set position it's very very reliable rolling into the set position and, and setting is very reliable so it's quite a sophisticated anchor um, but very very similar principles just uses a different way different way of attaining the same um, the same goal, the, um, the positive writing actions and the, and the fact that the anchor when it's in that position as, it, as you start to drag it forward, you can see it's three point geometry, the tip, the heel and the end of the shank and there's nothing else. So in other words what you've got is you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of tip weight. This is, this is actually, this, the tip weight on this anchor is, is, is up around about 35%. So, so that is very important. The tip weight means that you start to drag it forward Resistance created here because this is this is automatically going down. It, it won't slide across the bottom. It's going to it's going to start to go down, in which case the anchor will come up and keep rolling into that position. It's the set position. So we're now pulling from here, and the dynamics of the anchor is such that it'll go down, sort of roughly roughly round about at that sort of angle. So over a period of time i've had a lot of ideas about improving the rockner and, and and trying to develop something that's a bit more sophisticated and and take a lot of the lessons we've learned from years and years of using rockners so he came up with what now is an anchor that we call the mark ii technology is, is has improved so much that we can now put things into this anchor that were, were more difficult in the old days when we were when we were doing the mark one but one of the big, um, one of the big uh, breakthroughs we've made is we've been able to go away from the pipe roll bar and we've developed a, a solid roll bar that is a foil, a twisted foil. And this is where we've made some really big breakthroughs and, and produced some advantages we haven't got with the older style anchors. So, and the foil is twisted, so even in that position we have still got a skid. So the, the foil is actually holding the back of the anchor up and there's a very strong, I mean I'm, I'm using quite a bit of pressure there to hold that, it's a very strong turning moment. So as the anchor rolls around the foil, you've got a flat surface that's, that's holding the back of the anchor up. So there's a lot of resistance to the anchor sinking in so in that position. It won't bury upside down anywhere nearly as easily. And, and the foil is shaped in such a way that if you were to drag the anchor in that position, the foil actually lifts the back of the anchor up. It pushes it up, which is a feature that we don't, um, it, it's a new feature. You don't see, no other anchor in the market that I know will do something like that. But in that position, when the anchor is going down, you can see the foil shape. Number one, it's helping clear the mud flows and stopping choking between the roll bar and the actual shape of the blade. 
but it's also helping, it's, it's actually putting a downward force, it's actually helping drive the anchor down. If it's patented, um, we've gone to a lot of trouble to protect the design and we feel it's a big, it's, it's, it's lifted. We think the Mark II Rockner is another step up in, in the game of new generation anchors, new generation anchoring. Really, really my motives, you know, I'm a sailor. <coughs> my Rockner is, is my, it's one of the most important bits of kit on my boat. I always say to people, your, um, your anchoring gear is the most important bit on, of kit on your boat. Why would you spend $10,000 on a, on a, on a um, navigation kit that's not going to save your life and you, you're nickel and dime on the kit that is going to save your life. The anchor provides security, uh, provides peace of mind. And over a period of years I just became very, very confident and secure in my anchoring over, over years of anchoring literally thousands of sets. I have virtually never had a drag, I've never had a failure and of course there's always exceptions to the rule but uh, the anchor is extremely reliable and, and you certainly feel very secure um, sitting on it.